Hello, good afternoon guys. My name is Crypto Keep and today the second of November 2021 and I'll be talking about Bitcoin. So we've had a breakout of this descending channel or rather following wedge on Bitcoin and then it is normal to show or talk about what is next and my expectation for Bitcoin in the next coming days. So recently, we identified a structure, and here was a structure in which I talked about on the FTS platform. We have this low to this high, to this low, and to this high high. But in it past this, we have a break of that low, which was the invalidation. So let me quickly mark that low, and. But the fact that we have a break of this low means we are bearish and then it is expected for us to have a bearish retest and a down movement so let us analyze what actually happened so if we are to look at this chart and not looking at anywhere to the left of this chart from this particular account so from this side we also have a mini structure which is most likely a pullback on the higher time frame so this is what we had we are from this side to this low then we are this lower high and then this lower low so when we have this lower low it is expected or it is normal that this point of supply is valid and what did we have let me mark that as red so that point of supply what did we have from there so we have price coming back into it and then getting that bearish return or bearish move down which which confluenced or correlated with the break of this trend line so the movement or the rejection from this supply zone offered the retest of this trend line and now we are back into it so it is expected or it is normal that this point this lower high is our invalidation high from creating the last lower low or rather this low for creating the last lower low from an a lower high so this is an invalidation for this structure right from this point and what are we to expect that the moment price closes above of this side not necessarily close sometimes just making an eye higher than this side means that we are back to our bullish bias but do not forget that this entire move from this point to this point is one now because this invalidation here was taken out and we have seen a retest yes and it has held on but then now we still expect a deeper correction i mean a deeper retest into a deeper level like like this now when price comes back into this top most level we are to expect maybe a little down movement which we then offer a retest of the demand zone that broke this initial this initial supply at this level so if the demand happens to be here it hasn't broken the supply right now so that whatever demand is forming there is invalid as of this moment until we have a close above of this or rather a move above of this we have had the retest of the trend line which was good so we expect this structure to break and then we expect a deeper correction into this topmost level and a possible break of it now let's quickly go into the daily time frame to see what we think will happen so on the daily we can see that we have this bearish angle let me remove this channel so we had this bearish angle i remember when i was talking on a program hosted by fts i mentioned this bearish angle that once this price closed as bearish engulfing then we are likely to have a retest of it and then a down movement so if we have to have a retest of it some people play it with 
the highs and the lows while some people play it with just the body so using the lows now you can see we are the retest of this angle and then a move down so i will expect a further movement into the body of the angle so like this something like this so i will expect a retest of this particular area and then either that is what will push the price back down to then create a retest for this demand that is forming on the four hour time frame like here you see if this supply gets broken let me mark that supply again if that supply gets taken out by either by a week i expect a move deeper into this level and then a possible down movement created from the supply into this demand and then if this demand holds something like this let me quickly draw it a break of this into this area then a move down to test this newly created demand once that supply is taken out from this level then they move up taking out the other mines so on the daily time frame this is it so we have this move now going is most likely to break this invalidation supply here right now so once that is broken then they move into this topmost supply might create the necessary correction we need to fill this demand at this level and once we fill the demand at this level it holds very well then we are likely to break or timeize and then proceed to the projection we did on the FTS platform so that is the outlook on BTC at this particular moment so I am expecting a move up to break this current supply get a retest of fear then move down then up but not necessarily we might not have a reaction a bearish reaction from this point we might just have a direct move up we might just have a direct move up like this then after creating a new all-time ice then find another creation i mean another correction sorry so that is the outlook on btc and if we are to look as you can see, yes, as you can see, this bearish angle for now is correlating with the break of that invalidation of four hours. So we are likely to have what is called an ABC impulse correction, an ABC corrective wave, on, or if you use earlier waves. So something like this, we have this move down, which broke this invalidation on the four hours. Then we have a correction into it, then a deeper correction, and this is why i think something like this should be what we happen to be organic for bitcoin's growth because if we take a measure of our of our last last move up from this particular lows to this particular highs as you can see we have only corrected just a bit shy of the 38 percent level we have fully corrected the 20 percent level just a bit shy of the 30% level. We are not yet up to the 50% correction level where I would expect for this to be the top. So, logically, if this move is the bottom, definitely this is not the top. Then we are still going higher before we have that big correction. But I would expect the big correction, big correction to happen to at least this point which is a 50% level of this entire swing and as you can see it corresponds with this um, former resistance supposed to hold now as support and if you look past into the price action you have seen the area at as support and resistance at some point so i will expect this to happen but in case this does not happen and we happen to go higher that means this it's not the top and this is not the bottom so we are still going up only to then correct that major correction soon so that is what is likely to happen and also if you look at this move from this particular bottom from this particular bottom i think this is the lowest low on this particular chart and as you can see we have that 50 percent correction here which makes this whole move which makes this whole move here on this last swing from this point organic we have the move up then we have 
the move down, which corrected up to 50% of the entire swing. So the same thing is expected for to happen here. But in case we are not making 50% correction, that means this is not yet the top, and then we are likely to go higher. And this from this point to wherever high we find becomes just one swing, and then we will make the 50% correction of that whole swing. So that will be a very major move, which is why I am expecting this end of here to hold and create a sort of A, B, C pattern so we can feel at least anywhere from this breaker or to anywhere from this demand. And once that is done, then we are set to go back high. So those are the two scenarios I am seeing. But whichever, whichever happens, either we move up like this, then we have a demand where we can take a quick long till we find the top. So that is the outlook on Bitcoin at this particular time. And as we have it now, we are very close to taking out this invalidation. So then we will see whatever is going to play out on Bitcoin. So that is the outlook for Bitcoin using market structure and supply and demand. And bear in mind, once this side breaks, then we have a good demand here. Just like the moment this low was broken, we had a supply here. We had a retest of that. They moved down another closer move into it, then a little reaction, and then we have an upside. So this supply here at this point, it can be here or like on the daily, and it can be from here, like on the four hour. It's where I will expect any correction to either fill this demand. And we can have a break of that first. So any of that any of which happens is okay by me and i have some other coins i was looking well, i was looking into that i didn't get a feel on so i had this particular move and it got i was it got missed by a few by a few cents so then i wanted to take the break of the structure on the lower time frame so as you can see on this particular movement, we have this move down, move up, then move down, move up. And then we have this whole move. This is our invalidation, right? We have this whole move, which is clearly within this very loss and this very highs. And now what happened? We have a break above of this side. So I'm expecting a retest back into this level of demand or accumulation and then continue the rally upside. So that is what I'm looking at at this particular moment. Since the correction for this move they didn't quite get to where I was waiting. And if you can look, if you can see from this particular chart, we have a rally up. Then we have a little push down, a little push up, and a little another push down, which means we had an A, B, C correlation on this particular chart. So that is my outlook for FTM. I have some other coins that I don't want to talk about at this point because of time. That none of them are getting filled. I also know, and I do not like trading as a breakout trader because the moment you trade as a breakout, as of me now, you have a break of this size, then you choose to enter this point. That point at which you enter, you get a little profit and then correction to the particular zone you would have waited to get a fee. I also had my look on this CHR. I think it was on the four hour or was it 19 minutes? Okay, I think it was a 90 minutes. Price was coming down here by, by that time. I also didn't get a feel. I got missed. And then we have a rally high. Now what do we have on this particular chart? We have this move up, move down, move up, move down. And we have a move up. Anywhere from here will be the accumulation, which is a demand. You can also use from this point in order to get quickly filled. First entry, second entry stop below the lows uh, but then looking at this particular eyes it seems like we have a pullback and another rally up so this point might be a point of demand but then i personally we want to look if 
we have a top at this particular point so the highest making high is this which also happens to be the low to be the one making the lows which price has refused to go below so all the price action we have inside of this is an inside bar or rather sideways movement so we had the rally a sideways which is a base and then a breakout so it is also a form of demand for price to come into it make a retest and then continue higher so it is still a valid demand zone so because of time i wouldn't go into much much talk or much discussion about all our quests which i'm waiting and then okay i was also waiting on this i'm already defending myself so i was also waiting on this as you can see i play by structure we are this special move up we are this special move down then move up and if you notice this particular eyes okay we are the close above our but a very little close then we have this move down a minor move up which could be like an abc but then ended up breaking this, breaking this eye or pause so i was expecting this correction by this point that was why i got on the chart to come into this zone feel me and then make an higher eye but as you can see we are yet to break this side so whatever happens between this particular demand and this side we are ranging this very high say we are ranging we made a low here we had we have now a lower high so if this price chooses to come back from this particular point or where it is right now and then it chooses to come into or, or and then it chooses to come into my zone here what we have it means from this very top we have an a b c correction and then we can kind of proceed higher so that should be it for now guys so my name is crypto keep once again and i'll be doing this more often analysis i believe it will help a lot of you to so know how to trade the market in a very simple form there is no particular need to complicate your trading trading can be complicated only if you make it complicated and it can be simple only if you make it simple if I want to make this difficult, I can be seeing Wyckoff at this particular place. But then Wyckoff is just complicating a simple thing. <laughs> I'm making a simple thing more complicated. Also, you can use your chart, chart patterns. If you think that is what is simple for you, you can draw your chart patterns like this using the close of the candle rather than the highs. The highs can fake out a lot. So using the close is a bit more reliable. And what can you see from this move up? We have this move up, then this down move, this up, all following the pattern. I mean the chart. On the chart pattern, then it can come here. And since you have an ascending flag or an ascending channel, it is expected to break down. So but I don't want it to go higher than this. If it goes higher than it, then I will see a new demand zone. So that is it, guys. Once again, my name is Crypto Keep. And I am your humble tutor. Thank you for watching.